This is um, an initial child protection conference. The purpose of the conference today is to bring together family members and professionals to consider a child protection plan and to share information regarding um, Jack and Layla um, in considering their, their health, their development and their protection needs and to make a decision whether the children should be subject to a child protection plan. Janet, if I could come to you, if you could go through your report. Terry does treat Jack as his own child. He does want to provide financially um, and emotionally for the family. Things are difficult at the moment, I understand that. The household is a busy one. Um, there's a history of poor relationships between um, Anne and her mother, but relationships, I understand, are good now, and grandmother has helped to look after Jack periodically for you. There have been two incidences of domestic violence, um, which is concerning, as there's not only Jack, but a small baby in the household. There's also the increased alcohol use by Anne, and I think um, Terry, in my opinion, finds this difficult with managing the swings of mood that this causes. Um, if I look at the children, um, Jack, he's progressing in terms of his development, but the care, I understand, is inconsistent. His hygiene varies. Also, there's issues about um, missed meals. And I think of concern is really the impact from what's going on in the household on his emotional well-being. Because with the swings of mood, this could cause arguments which the children would be exposed to. Um, I feel that um, with all of what I've said, the family has come to a point where there is a crisis in the household. And we're obviously concerned about, in particular, the emotional um, well-being of the children. Anne and Terry, would you like to comment on, the, on Janet's report? It's not, that's not linked with the kids, like, I mean... So if we were going to try and quantify it to help me understand, from your point of view, yeah. that you're saying that you, you don't see drink as a, as a problem, I need to understand how much then within the week you, you do drink. I would probably drink every week, not, not like... Well, a, no. no. <clears throat> Just if it's not, you know, if things are building up or like, yeah. Layla appears happy um, and she's growing according to her centile. She's um, bottle fed um, and she's up to date with her vaccinations. She's um, two months old now and um, has seen the GP for a six week check. Um, I do have concerns about Anne regarding her low mood and I think maybe she might be postnatally depressed and I've encouraged her to see the GP for an assessment um, possible medication and some psychological support. Um, Jack's not been with us very long, he's only just started in reception, so I've just taken a few notes from the class teacher and teaching assistant. Um, there are some co concerns with his lateness, he's not always on time at school. Um, he mostly wears his school uniform, but there are on occasions when he's not. Yeah, if, I, well, I've, got to, like, if, it, if I've got to wash it or something, then he's not, that's, yeah. Um, he's sometimes coming in and always looks quite hungry and when he has fruit at playtime he really devours it and it, sometimes when we question him it's, he hasn't always had breakfast which has been an issue. Are you not making him breakfast? Yeah, I'm, I'm always making him breakfast. Sometimes I don't have time to oh, feed, I don't have time if the kids, you know, if the, Layla's crying or whatever and I've got to get him to school because they go banging on about him being late. Oh, you either make breakfast or you don't. You know, he's, he's what do you mean, either? Well, 
We, we have tried to contact parents about coming to Breakfast Club. We've written to them, we've phoned them, but sometimes we're not really getting much from Mum, not engaging with us at all. Um, sometimes he's a bit of a loner and he likes to spend time on his own in the playground. So he's quiet, he's like his dad. Not like his dad, but you know what I mean? He's, he's like, he's quiet. Right, OK. Uh, you know, he's working, he's trying to, he's making progress, but he doesn't want to do, he doesn't seek praise and he's, and sometimes he just looks a bit sad, really. Anna's been known to, um, my service since she was 14. Um, from looking back at her past notes, it seems like that she, she started drinking not long after her father died and just before she went into care. From, from what, the notes that I've looked at from the past uh, sessions that we've had with Anne is that she binge drinks and she uses alcohol as a coping mechanism. So I would be encouraging Anne to see our bereavement counsellor because I've... Uh, what the, the hell have I got to see a bereavement counsellor for? Well, from, from... This is about Jack and Layla but and about I... drinking. Yeah, I get that. Um, sorry. I can see that it's obviously evoking lots of emotions for you. No, but... it's not evoking... It's not about <clears throat> emotion. I'm angry because it's got nothing to do with my dad. It's got nothing to do with that. I've got a drink problem. The kids, I get stressed. I have a drink. I've said that. I've already admitted all that to all of you. Mm -hmm. And I'm not... I'm not going to sit here and listen about my dad because this is not about my dad. Can you hear me out? Because ultimately what we, what we need to do is we need to Sorry, hear please. all the information. Get off me for now. I'm just... Yeah. Do you need a few minutes? Um, if we can come to Rob from Leaving Care, if you could just share <clears throat> your involvement today, please. No problem. Well, and been working with me for the last two years, since the age of 18. Um, if I'm completely honest, there has been a history of non-engagement. We have had contact over that period, but um, I think we need to improve that. Um, I would th think it's fair to say we do have a good working relationship. And one thing I, we do need to address is the fact that your pathway plan has lapsed and we need to address that. Mm -hmm. Your pathway plan, which obviously details what we intend to do for you, OK? Um, I do think, though, in, in respect to Janet, that you're being unfair towards Anne. I do think with her first child, she did display good parenting skills, especially at that time. And I know that, obviously, once the relationship with Jamie broke down, it was very hard for her. But I think she's, she's coming through that. Um, what I'd also th I would feel is important to say is, if she had the right support and the right teams working around her, I think she would come through this. Um, if we could come to um, Tony in regards to the police report, our final report for conference. Yeah. Um, I've not actually personally had dealings with Terry and Anne. These are reports that I've had from um, the officers that attended the uh, incident. Uh, checking our systems, there's been two incidents of domestic violence at the address. No. Um, no. When I say domestic violence, it is a generic term. So the first incident they were recalled to was an argument between. That's both. not. That's. that's an if, argument. Anna, if you just bear with us, so we can just actually hear what the information is, and then we'll give you the opportunity to respond. So the, the second incident of uh, that the police were called to, what was more concerning from the report that they actually wrote, the, there was a couple of areas that they've made specific mention of. Um, First of all, that both children were clearly present and witnessed what had gone on. Uh, Jack uh, was reported as being very upset um, about what he'd he just seen. He was upset because the police were in the house. Like, that's going to upset a kid. He's confused, doesn't know what's going on. I, I accept that entirely, yeah, that officers there may have upset him more. But once he calmed down, they did speak to Jack. Um, as you know, they did take him off to one side just to make sure he was OK. And he did say to officers, um, uh, when he was given the chance that he does get scared when his, um, when Terry shouts um, and that he, he made a comment that he was concerned about you really and what he clearly sees as your drinking and how you go a bit funny as he described it when you've had um, when you've had a drink um, as has been mentioned before 
by the, the other people here, um, the, the general state of the house was a concern. Again, there were dirty nappies lying around. There was a, a smell. It's not described as what, but there was a smell in the house, as reported. Um, the officers did say that, albeit um, the argument when they got there had continued, they did have to actually calm the pair of you down. Neither of you made any what they would describe as allegations of crime against one another, so there didn't appear, or certainly wasn't an allegation that either have been um, physically abusive towards one another. However, having said that, the officer did note in his report that he saw some bruising on Anne's arm. Um, there wasn't anything more of that made at the time, but he has made a note of that. We now need to form a view as to whether we feel that Jack and um, Lady The chair summarises the family's strengths, but also the concerns, and asks all the professionals for their opinion. Have the children suffered, or are they likely to suffer significant harm? Given the two uh, incidents that police have been called to, uh, and the information that Anne and Terry have given us today in the conference, there is a clear escalation of violence in the home. Um, that, taken with what other professionals have said around the table, I would say there is um, a clear risk of significant harm towards both Jack and Layla, and I would suggest they go on a child protection plan under the category of emotional abuse. The professionals decide unanimously to draw up a child protection plan for Jack and Layla. And Terry, um, I've heard all the views of the professionals here today, and with that in mind, my analysis of the risks is that both Layla and Jack are suffering and likely to suffer significant harm and should therefore be subject to a child protection plan. And I would agree with the professionals here today that it should be under the category of emotional abuse. What we now need to do is to think about the plan and the formulation of that plan. You're both very key in your contributions to the plan and essentially the plan is formulated to offer support and the essential monitoring that will ensure that Layla and Jack do not continue to be <clears throat> at risk of significant harm. Now, Anne and Terry are invited to say what they think would help both them and their children. <laughs> 